In this example, we want to uh, learn how to deform a three-dimensional pattern. So it looks a little bit like uh, something you can do with the surface cladding, but in a much easier way, just with very few steps in 3D Studio Max. Okay, we start with your pattern exercise, and what you can see here, 304 uh, single pattern objects. We want to make one pattern surface out of this. So the first thing I choose, I choose my pattern, and it should not be an instance, and right now it's an instance, so I just go into uh, make unique. The top one should not be in animate mode, uh, which is already not in animate mode. So I just go into attach, say attach multi, and here I have my list. Everything is isolated, which I actually want to um, uh, want to uh, attach. This is really important. So nothing else is in my uh, scene. I just check this again. So this is uh, good. I just go into isolate selection. It was actually isolate selection. So let's choose this one. Um, and I go into attach and I just say string all, all of this, all of them and uh, attach and uh, here we go. So the whole thing is one uh, one object named, um, named pattern. Okay, uh, just because I want to deform it, uh, I just uh, put some modifier on it. Uh, the first modifier is my weld modifier. If I select all my vertices, I can see that the amount of vertices is um, 9120. And if I put my um, vertex uh, weld on it, uh, like this, and another edit poly, uh, then we just check uh, the amount of vertex points again. It's now 6258. That's really good. By the way, you could also do the vertex weld in my edit poly. And there's one other thing to restructure a little bit my uh, topology. I go to turn to poly. This is fine, so this also optimizes a little bit my shape, and then I go and just say uh, convert to um, editable mesh, or probably I just do it like this. I just copy the whole thing uh, as a copy, and this one I just say right mouse click convert to editable poly to make it a little bit uh, optimized, but now I also can't work on my pattern anymore, it's just a surface, three dimensional surface. Okay, there are two ways of how to deform this, and for this I again make, um, make a copy. And uh, let's have a look at the first way. The first way is uh, quite easy. Um, I put an edit poly on top. I actually not necessarily have to do this because I just go uh, and uh, just do it with soft selection. I can, um, for example, choose, um, choose uh, this part and extend my... Uh, uh, use soft selection. I increase my fall off. You can just see that uh, this um, color pattern is following, and everything which is slightly colored will be a part of my uh, deformation. So if I just move this right now, let's see. If I just move this in my z direction, you can see that my pattern surface will be uh, uh, deformed. So uh, this is a way of uh, how you are able to uh, to work on this. I just do it a little bit here in this area and uh, pull this up in my z direction a little bit like uh, like this, and um, you can just see uh, that this is definitely an option of uh, how to deform your uh, your pattern. Just do it here a little. Oh, this looks really bad, um, and um, probably also. Uh, lift this part again. So uh, this is my first de deformation uh, which I can actually uh, use. Uh, the next possibility is uh, my FFD box. If I just add an FFD box uh, then you probably uh, choose uh, not FFD 2x2x2, two by two by two. I just go in, into FFD box because here I can uh, change, uh, change my control points and right now we have four control points in length, width and height. And uh, first of all, I reduce it in, uh, in my height. I just want only want to have two control points. And click on OK. You can see that I only have two po control points. And in X and Y direction or uh, length and width, I go probably into uh, three. 
So uh, now it's a really simple uh, shape and now you can go into your control points, control points and uh, also select this and this is also a way of how you can uh, how you can uh, deform your uh, your, uh, your actually your your pattern okay just do some deformations it works a little bit it's not quite really easy to uh, to uh, to control you can probably also increase the amount of control points but you can just see that this is also uh, uh, also a good way of how to transform transform it you can also work on the tension. You can see what's happening in my um, FFD box uh, setting and onto, uh, on the continuity. And these are just some parameters you can work on. And for example, if I just go into continuity like, uh, like zero, then it starts to be really interesting because it's just following my shape. And this is probably also something you, uh, you want. And uh, so uh, it's really like, um, uh, like a clear edge more or less around your uh, around your pattern okay if I go into top mode and uh, uh, zoom in then you can also choose the control points for example like this I go into move and select again and you can see that you can um, play a little bit with your deformation somewhere like this and uh, let's look at this in 3d and it's a shape like this, so you can control this pretty well. So the next thing we want to do, we want to cut a shape out of this. I'll just go into my um, T, like top view again, um, zoom in and uh, go into Kuwait and I'll just do it with a simple shape. I just go into ellipse and uh, just draw a shape on it in my wireframe mode and uh, here you can start to adjust it with your snap mode uh, anyhow I just uh, have my shape uh, somehow like uh, like uh, this and uh, my shape I will extrude okay and uh, just give it a decent amount uh, go into my wireframe again and uh, increase it a little bit so uh, let's have a look at this perspective it's definitely much too high but this doesn't matter because uh, the only thing I want to do is I just want to have an intersection for my for a bool, uh, bool operation. So uh, so this is fine. So uh, what I do right now, I just go into um, create again into uh, compound, and then I choose boolean and intersection. And uh, when I go into pick operands and I select my pattern. Uh, material yeah, I'm fine I just um, that's okay uh, then you can see that I just cut my shape out of this uh, out of my um, out of my pattern and uh, I think this looks pretty good and it really looks like a surface cladding uh, but done in a really easy way with this example for example I just transformed uh, my pattern on one box and I just show you how I did it uh, this is my uh, simple uh, box, and um, we just uh, quickly do it. Uh, and uh, I just had a deformation with uh, edit poly. I just put an edit poly on top, and uh, choose my top polygon. Uh, turn it around, okay, somewhere like this, okay, and um, sorry again. And uh, was a little small, small twist, for example. Uh, let's do it. Uh, let's do it like this. I use uh, I use one edit mesh because I need my edges. I just select all my edges in edit mesh, and I've, if I just go into outer edge less than one degree, then it all all draws all my uh, lines which have uh, less than or uh, more than one degree. I just put an edit poly on top, somewhere like this. Okay, I go and uh, delete uh, two sides like this one and this one. I go into um, my graphite modeling tools and say hard and that's it. So this is my box and uh, here I also have my pattern. This is my pattern. I just go into isolate selection with both of them like this and my pattern first uh, I just turn it with an angle snap on and uh, 
Uh, and I also can see that I want to move my pivot point, effect pivot point, to the center, so it's just in the center. Makes sense, it's, one, it's not so essential actually. I just move it to 90 degrees. I go again into my top view and I just move my object already uh, to uh, the side with my open uh, with my open cube. So let's uh, let's do it uh, let's do it again. So I just move it here to this side, and uh, I already turn it somewhere like this. Okay, and uh, so what I need. Let me also move it down a little bit. Uh, what I just need is an FFD box, and I just use in this terms an FFD box uh, two by two by two. That's good. I switch on my um, snap toggle, white right mouse click, uh, vertex. That's fine. And uh, I go into my control points. Uh, take uh, this one. And important. I have to select it in a way that all axes are selected. Move it to the top. Choose this one. All axes have to select the dot X and Y, X and Z, so all of them, it's really important. Snap, take this one, everything has to be selected, and snap, and then uh, this one, okay. And uh, here we go, I just, oh, there was one mistake by the way, you can see here at the back, I snapped uh, one, like this, so I just move it again, and uh, Move it with all my axes selected to uh, to the front. Okay, and here we go. I uh, nicely deformed uh, it on my uh, on my cube. 